Yeah, really, when you when you stop, and I'm sure most of you have, when you stop and think about what's going to happen tonight and the way it's being promoted and the way it's playing out, I don't know, it, it, it's, it's, it's kind of surreal. Everybody involved knows that what's going to happen tonight's unconstitutional. Everybody knows it. And there's nothing that can stop it. And stop and think of that. Everybody knows. I don't care if they're in the drive-by media. I don't care if they're in the White House. I don't care if they're in the Senate. I don't care where they are. Everybody knows that what is going to happen tonight is unconstitutional. It is like we're going to put the Constitution up on a wall and Obama is going to start shooting a BB gun at it. And we're all going to tune in at 8 o'clock and watch it. And then we're going to talk about what we saw later on tonight and tomorrow. Meanwhile, tomorrow, the Constitution is still going to have some BB holes in it. This is amazing. Everybody knows that a, what, what's about to happen. I will see an end to a countdown on this. I don't see it yet, but it's a little, seven hours and 53 minutes and 44 seconds from now. The Constitution is going to cease to exist as we know it. And everybody's going to be, t- oh, I'm sorry, folks. Do you know that the major broadcast networks are not going to cover this tonight? Did you know that? The White House is not annoyed. The White House did not formally request it. They don't want English-speaking audience tonight in mass numbers. They did not formally request the networks carry the announcement tonight. This is going to be on Telemundo, on Univision. It's going to be streamed in a number of places. But the networks... It's not that the networks didn't grant permission. They have not been formally. Re- the White House is out there wringing their hands and they're making it look like the, the networks are denying. Does anybody really believe the networks would deny him? Does anybody believe the networks would say no to this? I mean, this is historic. We are going to shoot the Constitution full of holes tonight. And the networks aren't interested? Come on, folks. Cut me some slack here. I'm just, we all know what's going to happen tonight and there's no stopping it. It's like there's, there's, there's going to be a, a, a severe injury to our country tonight, and, and we all know it's going to happen, and everybody knows it's going to happen. And yes, I don't, I'm saying I'm saying that he knows this is not popular. I'm not saying he's suppressing the English language tune in. I'm saying he doesn't care if they don't watch. It's not for the English language speaking people tonight. This thing is not for them. This announcement is not for, this is for Hispanic, Spanish language audience tonight. That's who it's, I don't think have any doubt about that. But I mean, really, I can't, I can't move past this. We're all, we're just hours away from watching the Constitution shot full of holes. Everybody knows that's what's going to happen. And yeah, it's going to happen. And I'm, I'm telling you, I don't care if it's Dick Durbin. I don't care if it's Dingy Harry or Josh Ernest, they all know whatever the whatever the people on the on the Obama side are saying to justify this, they know they're not right. They know the Constitution does not provide for this. They know the president doesn't have the authority, but this is one of the reasons they're so excited. This is one of their they this is historic. Their president, their guy is going to in front of everybody. This isn't stealth. This isn't under cover of darkness. This isn't behind closed doors. This is right out in front of everybody. We are going to go on the Constitution. This is like everybody witnessing Al Roker soil himself in the White House. You know, Al Roker run around telling everybody that he excremented his pants at a White House Christmas party. Well, we're going to see it tonight. It's it to me. This is just. I don't know. It, it's surreal. And I'm I'm not exaggerating, and I'm not trying to make a, a, a broad point when I tell you that I think everybody on the Obama side knows what they're... They know this is not permitted. And I think that is part of the thrill for... That they're going to get away with this. 
they're going to get away with it, and there's nothing that's going to happen to them, and there's nothing that can stop them, and they're just excited as they can be over this. And they're probably going to be, after the night's over, they're going to be, why did we wait so long? Man, this is fun. Let's do it again. This is so much fun. This will do it again. Meanwhile, Mitch McConnell's up there warning uh, there will be action, and they're quaking in their boots in the White House, I'm sure. And, uh, they are. They're going to get... They are going to get away with it in this, from the standpoint that it's going to happen. It's like we're going to watch a bank get robbed tonight. Everybody knows it's going to get robbed, and nobody's lifting a finger to stop the bank from getting robbed. Pick your crime. We're looking at it tonight. We're watching it. We're being led into it. It's being hyped. It... it uh, there's nobody can march. That's duct tape, but that's not the point. Duct tape on his mouth, stopping him from speaking. That's not the point. This is a big deal, and it's turned into a carnival show. This whole thing is turning into a carnival show. It's another. It's more showbiz. It's 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 stunning to me what is really happening. And we got a carnival barker tonight that's going to go up there, and he's going to look at us in the eye and say, "Screw you." This is what I think of this Constitution. And bammo, then he's going to do whatever he's going to do. Now, I have been hearing this morning from learned people, uh, some friends of mine in legal circles, that there actually is going to be, I don't know if he's going to mention it, Obama, but that they have prepared a legal basis that they claim justifies this. It is called prosecutorial discretion. You've heard that being bandied about, too. Okay, prosecutorial discretion. This is going to uh, necessitate an explanation of this. And I am uh, uniquely qualified to do this, and I shall as the program unfolds before your very eyes, because this is a time-honored, non-controversial legal concept that's been around for ages, and even it is being polluted by this guy. Even the whole concept of uh, prosecutorial discretion is now being corrupted. The rule of law is already laying injured on the side of the road. Prosecutorial discretion is going to be corrupted here tonight, if that indeed is the quasi legal framework that they use to so-called justify this but it's just <laughs> i I'm, I'm sorry i just it, it it's like watching you know, everybody says gee i wish we could find out you know know in advance the crime's gonna happen. maybe we could stop well we know we know that an illegal 